Well, good morning. I'm Bob Cloutier from uh, Faith Community Church. I'm pastor of Care Ministry. It's my privilege to be here uh, today. On this day, it's a day when we stop to remember solemnly that since the founding of our great nation, more than one and a quarter million Americans have died in the service of this country. These brave men and women made the ultimate sacrifice in defense of freedom. Please be seated for the music selection of our Hopkinton High School Band. <laughs> Seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation, or any nation, so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives so that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it, far beyond our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. 
It is for us, the living rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead, we take increased devotion to that cause for which they took their last full measure of devotion. That we here highly resolve that these dead shall have not died in vain, <coughs> that this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Thank you. Father Cannon is the pastor here at St. John's the Evangelist Parish and a former Navy chaplain. Please stand and welcome Father Cannon to recite a prayer. She said, uh, well done there, Mia. And part of those words that Mia said from the President Lincoln, it's altogether fitting that we are here. And uh, to thank uh, you know, the organizers here, uh, first and foremost, of course, uh, to acknowledge before us our veterans. Thank you for serving, and thank you for your sacrifice. It's wonderful to see so many It's wonderful to see so many people here, and especially to see so many of our young people. And your presence is very, very much appreciated. You may remain, uh, you may see, be seated. Um, first, we have the chairman of Veterans Celebration Committee, Mike Whalen, to give a speech. Welcome, Mr. Whalen. The ultimate sacrifice, we use this phrase to define the loss of one's life or cause. On Memorial Day, we turn our thoughts to the servicemen and women that we have lost in defense of our country. The passage of time that will make our losses more bearable, but will not let us forget. Hopefully, those Gold Star families realize that their loved one's death ultimately resulted in passing on life to someone else. Next, I would like to invite Seaman Kevin Nathan, a U.S. Navy reservist, to come up and talk about a plaque that honors the Reverend King at Mount Auburn Cemetery. Good morning. <clears throat> so here in town up on Mayhew Street, there's a flagpole dedicated in honor to a man named James B. King. After researching Reverend King, I'm reluctant to admit that there isn't a lengthy paper trail or a real biography, but I was able to find certain things, and those were important things. James B. King arrived in Hopkinton sometime in the late 1800s after serving as a chaplain in the Civil War. This service may explain some of the reasons why he became so quick, he became such a hallowed member here in Hopkinton. How fitting it is we meet here in this church today, his old parish. Next, we will have John Patino, who is serving his third year as Vice Chairman of Board of Selectmen. Welcome, Mr. Patino. I'm so honored to have been asked by the Chair to again um, speak on behalf of the Board of Selectmen. Thank you to the Veterans Committee, Mike Whalen, and all that work to make this ceremony possible. This event truly represents the best of Hopkinton. It's a time when the few, the proud, and the grateful come to pay respect for those who took it upon themselves to be the tip of the spear. We gather together to pay our respects to those who were willing to sacrifice everything for their fellow countrymen. 